Hey, it's your buddy Ken. I'm here to let you know a little bit about the new YouTube copyright match tool. It will know if anyone is using your content anywhere in the world and let you take action. <laughs> YouTube has rolled this feature out to a subset of its channels in the partner program and has plans to release it worldwide in the future. You work very hard on your content and you don't want anyone to steal it. And how would you know if anyone is plagiarizing your content other than this tool? I mean, you can't just sit there and go clicking around and searching for your name and various languages and countries all over the world. Uh, you're going to need something like the YouTube copyright match tool to help you. So this is actually my second time to even see this interface. This is what it looks like. It will bring up any matches of your content, even if it's a little bit, it'll show the percentage of your video that has been used. Uh, these are, of course, done with my permission. There's Copter Source, Kelly Green, more Copter Source, but then you get down here, hmm, wonder who this is. And then you go over here, they've just pretty much stolen 100% of my video and I'll go ahead and play it. Uh, <coughs> You'll have to forgive me today. My okay. voice. <clears throat> I've had a lot of people from uh, Russia and Ukraine borrowing my videos for some reason or another. Um, so this will let you see how many of your views have been stolen and that's money out of your pocket. 93 views. They stole it on the, this date here. April 27th, and they just pretty much used 100% of my video. Now, they only have 14 subscribers. I can go to their channel and see what, what's what here. I don't see my video here, but that doesn't mean that they don't have other channels. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go down here and click on Request Video Removal. Your physical address and phone number will remain confidential unless requested as part of a lawsuit. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. This is all pretty straightforward. Now, down here, you have a choice. Removal options and agreements. You can give them a little bit of time if it's possibly just an oversight on their part. You can request the removal now. Uh, and the third option, I don't see here, where it says that YouTube will send someone over to break their kneecaps. I don't see that one. Maybe that'll be in the future. But I'm going to go ahead and click on standard. Now there's something called a fair use law, which is kind of a gray area. And of course you can see here, remember that not all copyrighted content is eligible for removal. Some videos are protected by fair use and similar laws. Learn more. Fair use. What is it? Well, under certain circumstances, you can use small sections of other people's copyrighted material to do uh, parody. Uh, if somebody is in the public eye, for instance, politicians, that's fair use. Different countries, of course, have different rules about when it's okay to use material. Here in the United States, criticism, research, uh, teaching, or just news can be considered fair use of other people's material. Again, it's a gray area. And you might want to go ahead and read all this stuff. I'll put a link in the description so you can go through all of this. But let's go back here and complete this. There's a few check marks here that you have to go through. I have good faith belief that use of the material in the manner complained of is not authorized by the copyright owner, which it's not. The information in this notification is accurate under penalty of Perjury! <laughs> I'm the owner or agent authorized to act on behalf of the owner. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, click that. I understand that abuse of this tool, such as submitting removal requests for content I do not own, may result in the termination of my YouTube account. Very important. If you're a troll, you're not going to want to use this tool because YouTube will troll you right back. So, there you go. My signature. And that would be my full legal name. Yes. 
My first name is Kenneth. Boom. So now I submit. And I guess that's it. It's out of my list, so YouTube is on the case. And that is the copyright match tool from YouTube. It's new, it's great. If you're a creator, especially if your channel is monetized, you're going to want to know about this to see if any money is leaking out to any nefarious people. If you've been approved to use it, uh, then it will appear in your creator studio right there under transcriptions and above monetization. Pretty cool, huh? How does it work? Well, there's a video that is embedded with the email that I got in association with this. And uh, I'm not going to post this on this video because then that would be a it's copyright infringement on my part and I don't want YouTube to get mad at me for stealing from YouTube. So what I'll do is show you the matches and you I will put a link to this in the description. And now let's head outside to fly the parrot swing. This is the parrot swing. It uh, is a dual mode drone. It can fly around like a drone like this or it can fly like a fixed wing, horizontally. It's really cool. It was sent to me by Michael, Soul Reaper, and I thank him so very much. He's the one who won the Pixel 3 from Google and from me. And I guess as a thank you, he sent me this. I really do appreciate it. And this is surprisingly stable. Let me show you. One of the things I test first when I get a new toy drone like this is its ability to fly without an app. I hate little toy drone apps. So yes, it can. And it has one switch takeoff. Look at that. I've not touched the controller. It doesn't have GPS and it's that stable. There's a slight breeze going this way. It's amazing. I'm amazed. So you can fly it like you would a drone, a regular quadcopter. Or, you ready camera person? You can bring it up here, hit L, whatever, and then look at that. You can fly it like a fixed wing aircraft. Isn't that great? There's speed controls on it. And I'm not going to bring it up to hyperspeed, but it'll go a lot faster than that. And then if you want to switch it back, you can switch it right back, back into drone mode. And then, one of the best parts of all, one button landing. Isn't that incredible? I'm just so very impressed with Parrot for this little gizmo. I haven't flown a lot of Parrot products, but they really did it right with this one. Uh, makes a great Christmas gift for beginners. It'll be a great training drone and a fixed wing to get kids interested in both. I highly recommend it. And now you can win it. Here's Ken to tell you how. Well, thanks, Ken. But before we do that, let's see who wins this. You had a chance to win this in my Churchill Downs video. This is a little quadcopter toy from iBase Toy. And now let's go to the YouTube Randomizer 5000. We'll put in the URL from the video. Not that many people entered, so you have a pretty good chance here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, that's a really good chance. Okay, so you have a one in whatever number that was chance as we go over here and pick the winner. And the winner is Mike Rodriguez. Congratulations, Mike. 
You won this. Make sure you contact me within 30 days. Otherwise, it's not yours anymore. <laughs> oh, that sucks, I know. And now, how do you win this little doodad? This is the really cool parrot swing. If you wanna buy one, there's a link in the description. If you wanna win this one, all you have to do is comment below, Polly want a, and fill in the blank, since it is a parrot. Best and most creative answer will win. I'll pick a winner next week sometime. So again, comment below, Polly want a, fill in the blank, most creative answer wins. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Until next time, buh and bye. My Henry does the funniest thing. He just can't get any traction. <laughs> And he'll sit there and he'll do that for a long time. He won't let go though. Because that's his ball, man. That's his ball. Oh, 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 you almost got it. You almost got it. You almost got it. Oh. Ah, oh, you got it.